boy. Welcome back to a frosty one today. I'm here out on the St. Croix River. In this video, I want to show you the ice rod lineup that ACC has for this ice season. We're actually in the full swing of things right now. We're in it's January 21st, 22nd, something like that. So we're full on into ice season, but I've been getting a lot of messages on Facebook about the new ice rod lineup, what changes happened, and then what I pair with my ice rod setup. There's gonna be some noise because we are fishing underneath the bridge right now. <coughs> One of those locations where hopefully there's gonna be some crappie here. I haven't seen any yet, but uh, I know you guys down south, bridge fishing in the winter time, it's definitely a, a hot spot for a lot of you. I've seen some of the pictures of hundreds of boats piled up under bridges, so I'm hoping I can apply it to ice fishing a day. But first, let's talk about the ACC rod lineup, and then we'll worry about finding fish. So this year, ACC came up with a new uh, rod seat, or a reel seat. They actually went with no reel seat, as you can see. Um, they got two different grips. They went with the cork from last year, but instead of having a reel seat, let's see, this is last year's model. See, it's got the reel seat. Um, a lot of you messaged the owner last year of different ideas to kind of adjust the rod, which he greatly appreciates. So be sure to keep doing that. If, if you got any ideas that you want to see done to the rods, we always love hearing new ideas to help improve our the ACC lineup. So there's our two separate models. They come in three different sizes, 28, 38 and a half, and 32 inches. These are 32 inches this is kind of what I prefer if I'm doing a bunch of hole hopping. If I'm in a smaller shack, I'd probably go with a 28, maybe a 30 and a half. Um, they're all uh, have that quick tip or that soft tip, but they got the backbone, okay? They got plenty of backbone here. So if you guys are walleye fishermen, these would be great dead stick rods with a, a live minnow on just a split shot and Aberdeen hook or some sort of slip bobber rig. I've already done a slip bobber rig video for crappie. These work great for dead stick rods, but they also work for baits from about an eighth ounce lipless or eighth ounce spoon all the way down to your 64th ounce tungsten jigs. Um, this is actually, well, this would probably be more of a 30, 30 second. I think this is a four mil, which I think is about a 30 second tungsten jig there. But the two grips we have are the cork and the super grip. You guys see me use the super grip again on those eight foot uh, slip bobber videos and the 12 foot jig rods. And then we got the cork handles, straight cork. Now, if you notice, I got two different bands holding these reels onto the, the rods. Um, this one is a lot thicker, a lot more heavy duty. This is made by 13 Fishing. I'll link it below. Again, not sponsored by 13 Fishing at all, but I, I will say these are a pain in the butt to get on the rod. <laughs> uh, but once they're on there, this reel is not moving. I mean, it is it is solid. It is not going anywhere. And these are probably the, the most heavy duty uh, reel seat bands that you can find. They're expensive too. I think they're a little more expensive. They're about 11, 12 bucks for a four pack and the four pack does two rods. Um, keep getting the spoon in my hand. This is what probably a lot of you use. These are more of the rubber band style. Uh, I think you get a pack of a dozen or 14 of them for about five or six bucks and they come with a tool to put it on the rod. They're a lot more user friendly to put it on, to, to attach your reel to the actual rod handle. Uh, they're still pretty solid. Um, it's got a lot, little more flex, as you can see, compared to the real bands. You could probably put four on each one if you really wanted to. Um, this is my ultralight setup using three pound mono with that really small tungsten jig. Another thing that ACC changed was the size of the eyelets. I think last year's model had smaller eyelets starting, uh, especially on the eyelet tip, as you can see right there. That's a pretty small eyelet tip, and then they they adjusted it to this size. See how much bigger that is? Um, it helps with ice buildup on your rod tip and you can clean it up a lot easier. And we don't have the ceramic coating on the outer edge for that ice to really get stuck to. You can easily just flick, flick the rod tip and ice will pop off. Um, these are my two kind of jigging setups. This is more of a, what I got set up for a bluegill and crappie or ultralight crappie. It's the 164th ounce tungsten. Um, three pound mono and then my two reels these are the pc fun carbon x or carbon ice x the inline reels uh, they came out with this year um, i really like these setups it helps with the line twist and then this one is four pound 
uh, this is called, I can't remember what it's, it's like ice braid, but it's like a nano, it's like a fluorocarbon coated braid, I think. Um, but this is a, a 1 16th ounce spoon. You could go up to a 1 8th ounce lipless or spoon or even a blade bait with these. If you got into the 1 quarter size baits, you're definitely pushing the limits of the rod. I think it's doable, uh, but I definitely wouldn't go more than a quarter. I wouldn't go start trying to jig 3 8 ounce blade baits or spoons or something if you're a walleye fisherman. That's definitely pushing the limits. This is a panfish rod, crappie bluegill perch. Um, and again, those three sizes. So that is the lineup for 2022 and uh, the changes that ACC made. Again, post in the comment section, message ACC if you guys want any improvements on these rods. We are trying to make them affordable. Uh, I know there's some ice rods out there that you can get into the hundreds of dollars with the titanium eyelets. Uh, we're trying to make them affordable. So there's, there's going to be some improvements that we're probably not going to make just because we want to keep it within a certain price point and uh, we want people to get out on the ice and enjoy the beautiful weather that is 17 below zero right now in the state of Wisconsin. Jokingly, okay. It'll warm up. There's going to be a warm front for all of you to enjoy, but today is very, very cold. So that is my ACC 2022 ice season lineup. Let's go find some crappie or something under this bridge. Good news is we're only 25 feet deep. This is kind of right on the border of whether or not you have to keep crappie due to barrow sickness. Their air bladders would inflate, and but I think they'll be okay at this depth. Once you start getting into that 30 foot range, you, you definitely just want to keep those fish because there's a high mortality rate if you let them go. But I think we'll be okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they look if they come up. If we can catch one here, I'm gonna drop down on just just using a plastic for right now. There he is. There we go. This one feels a little bit bigger. No, we're just fighting hard like bluegills fight. Nothing, nothing big, but still a nice fish. This is a. Uh, this is called a plankton by Euro Tackle. I just I bought a couple packs this year because I saw they're making them in this kind of the blood red pattern. And typically this time of year, a lot of the panfish and when they're in these deeper holes, it's a softer bottom. And uh, blood worms and other insect larvae live in that soft bottom. And they even they these panfish are actually picking them up as they kind of hatch off the bottom, uh, even in the winter time. Not all bugs do it, but there's a certain t amount of bugs. But the blood worms will sit on different sections of these, these silt and mud flats. And when you get panfish stacked on the bottom like that, two, three feet off the bottom, it's probably what they're feeding on, these, these insect larvae. And if you can mimic the same color pattern as what they're feeding on, which is I'm thinking is blood worms or some sort of insect that's red, you can definitely trigger them to bite. Here comes another one. There he is. I mean, I wouldn't mind just catching a bunch of bluegill. It's not bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a bigger fish. Oh, because it's a crappie. Yes. Yes. There we go. That's a, that's a solid crappie, too. Crappie number one on the St. Croix River through the ice. Crappie number one. Do I want to keep any today? Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want, that's a healthy fish. That is a healthy, healthy crappie. There we go, crappie number one on the St. Croix River. I do have a tape. I'm just gonna lay this out here. Hopefully it stays flat. I think I might keep this guy. Oh, easy. So there's the zero mark, ooh, he's 11 and a, the best I can do for the tape but he's he's about an 11 that is going home with me tonight all right crappie number one 
nice one too. Let's get back down there and see if we can catch some more crappie. There's definitely fish down there. The one nice thing that PC Fun did with these new reels is they put the the trigger on the opposite side, I think, or the they put the trigger so you can push it forward and it unlocks the reel, and then you can use your palm to actually use as a drag as you're pulling line out like this, so the spool doesn't get doubled back. The one thing nice about when you're fishing with kind of a soft tip or quick tip, some people call them noodle rods, although this isn't a true noodle rod. A noodle rod would definitely have more of a parabolic bend to it. As you can see, this one, it's got that quick tip bend, but it's got the backbone, so you can fight some bigger fish with it. Um, but the beauty thing about this, you can see this rod tip unload on even the smallest jigs, 164th ounce tungsten. It just sits down just enough. Now, oh, we have fish coming up. Oh, that's a good fish. Unless there's two of them looking at it. There he is. Super light bite. Oh no, he came off. I think that was a crappie. That was a super light bite on it though. The one benefit of using a plastic, you don't have to check if you got your wax to your minnow. That thing's on there. Especially a plastic that goes all the way up the hook like this one does. There we go. Oh, he tapped it, son of a gun. He comes again. Got him that time. Ooh, I think this is a decent crappie. Oh, he's probably a bluegill the way he's fighting. Yeah. It's a good bluegill though. It's a fat bluegill. You know what, that's an eater. I'm gonna keep you, bud. I'm gonna keep about six or seven. It should be enough for a meal. No need to keep a limit. Maybe just cook them for yourself. Oh, there's a big school of them that just moved to the right. This is a good area for uh, for current seams as well. There is current moving through here. The, the ice was probably 12 inches thick in this section. Way back where I started to drive the truck on the river, it was probably like 15, 16. So if you do come out on a river system, be, be sure you know where you're going with the ice and you just be very cautious. Drill a lot of holes, be sure of the ice depth before you take a vehicle or ATV or snowmobile out. But these current seams provide a lot of oxygen and bait fish will use them to kind of swim through this, this section of water. I think eventually I might have to move to those holes because you can see on the left side of the screen, those fish, they just bunched up there and they have not moved. I mean, that school, I don't know what it is, crappie, bluegill, could be walleye perch. And there's a sheephead. There's a ton of different species in this river, so it could be a bunch of stuff. Ooh, that wind started to pick up there a little bit. Here we go, here we go. He's coming for it. Does he have it? Yeah, there he is. Feels like another, another bluegill. Yeah. Man, they're fun to catch though. This is only about a six inch gill. You can go back, see ya buddy. Still got the plastic. I'd like to put the plastic so that these two uh, little arms are side to side compared to the jig. It gives that jig a bigger profile so those bluegill are looking up at the jig. Oh wow, that wind picked up and my hands are like ice right now. As those bluegill are looking up at the jig, you gotta understand that the way you have your plastic hook, it can actually disappear if you have your plastic hooked in a certain way. You wanna give as big as a profile as you possibly can from the angle that they're approaching. Okay, it's not like they're approaching head on. If you notice all these bluegill and these crappie, they're coming up underneath it. So you wanna give a big profile from the upward view. It's not so much a straight on view. Might have to throw the tent up and put the heater on. My hole keeps freezing over and that wind just, it's not much, it's only like four or five miles an hour out of the west here, but when it's negative 10 or whatever the heck it is today, it's cold. It ain't warm, I can tell you that. There he is. Ooh, this is a, looks like a line is sticking to my drag. This feels like a better fish. It's a solid bluegill. He's a good eater. 
I don't know how many crappie I'm going to catch, so we're going to keep that bluegill. It's crazy. There's, those are the other two holes I was just in. Six feet over, and now I'm here. And that was all the difference. And if you're in open, open water, if you're fishing in a boat, you just make that cast. But for those of you down south that want to try ice fishing, this is the one, the one little thing that is probably going to bother you. You got to have some patience. It's going to take some effort to move around. For those of us up north, we know that all too well. Oh, here comes one rocketing up that water column. That's a good fish too. Got him. Man, it's crazy. This is a 12.30, 12.30 in the afternoon bite. Midday bite. Oh, there's our crappie, yes. There's our crappie. The one we wanted to chase after. There we go. Awesome midday crappie bite on the very small micro tungsten with the Euro tackle plankton. You're going on the ice, bud. It's going to take you home and fry you up. Okay, we're in the ice shack now. Got the heater going. Whew, a lot warmer. Usually, once uh, once the holes start freezing up every two three minutes time to get in the shelter get the heater going and hopefully prevent that hole freeze up there's still fish down there though I, mean, I got I got four I got two crappie and two bluegill so I'd like to catch a couple more crappie call it a call it a day with keeping fish at least oh here comes it that's a good one there he is there he is. I feel like that's a better fish. Open. Keeper. Feels like a bluegill. Oh, he's fighting. Yeah, still. <laughs> that's a good bluegill right there. Where's the tape? Right here. Dang, if this guy's over nine, I'm going to have to let him go. I'm not going to keep a nine inch bluegill. Forgot the bump board. Probably already noticed. He is. Here's the zero. He's an eight. It's an eight inch bluegill. He's gonna come home. There's five fish. I'm gonna keep two more. That should be good enough for the frying pan. I do get questions about line. Uh, ice fishing is a little different. Most people use pretty thin line. Again, three pound mono I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And uh, some people use fluorocarbon when they're using these smaller jigs. If you can use two, three, four pound fluorocarbon. Um, it helps with the fall rate when you're fishing 20, 25 feet down. But pretty much I always use, for, for jigs anyway, and live bait. I'm always using monofilament or fluorocarbon. I'm never using braid. Um, you can use, oh, there's a bigger fish coming up now. I'm never using braid unless I'm using some sort of jigging spoon. Big fish, big fish. There he is. Dang it, did I get the right one? He looked big on the screen. He's not fighting that big though. Oh, it's crappie. There we go. Get out of here. Yes. Yes. There we go. There's a third crappie. Absolutely. These are great eaters. That's another, probably close to another 11 inch fish. Another quality. Quality eater size crappie. We can get on another, oh my goodness, look at that one flying up the water column right now. That's a good fish. Got him, got him. I think that's another crappie. That was a, a super aggressive fish, what is he? Oh, yeah, it's another crappie. Come here, buddy. Another crappie. He's not a big one, but he's gonna eat. That's about a nine and a half. Let's put them on the tape just to kind of double check it. Honestly, I didn't have the highest of expectations for this spot, but considering nobody else had drilled a hole here for a long time, what do we have on the tape measure here? Let's just do it this way. He's about a nine and a half. I got my, it's touching the zero up there. He's about nine and a half, nine and three quarters. He's gonna eat good. 
All right, I got three, four, five, six, seven. Got my seven. Let's see if we can catch a couple more just for fun. But these ice rods are, I believe they're still in stock. They're gonna sell out quick here. Um, last year they sold out within like the first month of going on sale. So if you are interested in getting an ACC rod, ice rod, 32, 30 and a half or the 28s in either the cork or the super grip handle, be sure to click the link in the video description and check out ACC crappie sticks because these are not going to last very long. There he is. He does not feel like a big fish. But I could be wrong. The, light, the bite was super low. He's not a big fish. Well, I am going to get off the ice and go fillet up the fish I did keep that were big enough, much bigger than this bluegill. See you, buddy. If you got any comments or questions, you can always post them in the comment section below about the rod reel setup. So I'll leave the links to the entire setup, both the cork handle and the super grip setup in the video description. You can also message me on either Facebook or Instagram if you got any other comments or questions. I always appreciate hearing from you. The next video, I think I'm gonna do a, another catch and cook on the ice. So be sure to leave in the comment section a fish recipe that you want me to try on the ice. So I'm gonna go back home and fry these up. Appreciate you watching as always. Good luck on the ice or in open water this winter, catching some crappie, bluegill, perch, whatever you're chasing after. We'll see ya.